Often surprised. I think Tyler needs a knockout to win. Now, again, we don't know what the judges are looking at, but Lopez has been piling up points. He's been landing the heavier shots, the more telling shots, the more accurate shots. And he's been controlling the pace of this fight. Which is why you don't see Lopez in much of a hurry right now. He's taking this round off to finish strong on the 12th. Whenever Lopez picks up his offense, Taylor doesn't seem to have an answer. He did early in the fight, maybe in the first two or three rounds, but not past that point. Oh, he catches him with the right uppercut as Taylor was coming inside. That's the shot he's been looking for. Oh. And then goes to the body that time. Give me the uppercut to the gym over the straight stab to the body that Lopez just landed. Yeah, especially this deep into the fight. The second one doesn't feel good. And now you see more of the head movement and the swag and the style and the defensive prowess and confidence of Tiafimo. And why not? If you're in control like this, why not? Why not put a little extra sauce on it? At this point, Lopez is doing what he wants to do, not what he's allowed to do. This is going to be fascinating to listen in to the corner of Taylor here after the report we just heard from Bernardo, where perhaps they don't sense the urgency that everybody else does. There's the right uppercut again, Dre. Followed by a left hook to the body from Lopez. Lopez, here's the clap and turns it on, and Taylor's hanging.